What's the most important element of the basic five? You know, whether, is it attitude and knowledge? Is it goal setting? Is it retailing? Is it prospecting, recruiting and sponsoring, or follow up an ABC pattern of building depth? Uh, number one, goal setting is number one, by the way. And the reason it's most important is why. Because if you don't have a reason why you're doing this business, if you don't have a sense of purpose, you're not going to do any of the other four. Okay? So the second most important is retailing. Okay? Because what we have to do, our objective as unfranchised owners when we first start this business is to do what? Our sense of purpose is and our why is to create what? An ongoing residual income in excess of six figures a year, correct? Everybody wants to do that, right? Okay. I just want to make sure I'm in the right room. Okay? Now, the key here is, the key here to do this is we have to build two sales and distribution organizations that each generate in excess of 5,000 BV per week, correct? We all know that, to earn 2,100 plus per week. Now, the issue is we, we here build two sales and distribution organizations, but what we immediately go to is building the organization. The operative word is sales and distribution. There's no reason to build the organizations if we're not going to sell and distribute. Has everybody got that? So the, th the key is, if, why recruit if we're not going to retail? Has everybody got that? You have to retail. That's what we do. That's where the leverage comes from. That's where the compounding comes from. Because if you break down 5,000 and 5,000, you're basically looking at about 13,000 in, in purchases. 13,000, 13,500. Divided by two, okay? All right, but the key is this. How is average individuals in a business model that basically where we are going to invest 8 to 15 hours per week, you know, 8 to 15 hours a week to generate what? 2,100 a week or plus, and everybody's going to go, impossible. No, it is possible because what we do is we take and we leverage. We leverage consumers like ourselves to basically experience products and then recommend those products based on those experiences to other individuals, other consumers like ourselves. Which, by the way, we've done our whole life, haven't we? We've all done it. We've done it our whole life. Up until now, though, we had not been compensated for it. So the key here is by experiencing and using the products and then making the recommendations and building that small portfolio of 10 to 15 customers that continuously buy on a repeat basis those products, goods, and services that we initially sold, and then we take it one step further and we begin to do what? Rather than go after customer share and get more customers, we simply take those 10 to 15 customers and then begin to what? Increase the share of product that those customers are buying from us on a regular basis. Now, what does that do? What it does is it makes it so we don't have to build gigantic organizations. We leverage individuals. We leverage individuals to capitalize off of their sphere of influence, their network, their experiences with the products that they use to basically have a compounding effect or an exponential effect with respect to generation of sales. Everybody with me? So the key is this. It's very important that we have a repeat retail customer base. There is no reason to recruit if we're not going to retail. And by the way, I will share this with you. 22 years, you will find, I think most everybody will agree, your best business partners that are in the business with you today, more than likely were your what? Best customers. Why? Because we also sell belief. Automatically, they already believe in the product. We, we just, it's, we skip everything, okay? So, with that being said, I get the, I get the privilege to introduce to you three beautiful uh, young ladies. I can say young because I'm so old now. But uh, young ladies are gonna, that are very, very good at retailing product and, and using various methods to do that, okay? And I don't need these slides anymore, so you can get rid of them, okay? There you go, all right? So the thing is, is you know, they, they're going to share with you methodologies and initiatives and strategies for Im improving or increasing uh, your retail, uh, the retail aspect of your business. And the first person I would like to bring out, uh, you just heard from her a little bit ago, um, is supervising coordinator, 
Sarah Rose Stack. Good morning again. <laughs> How's everybody doing now? It's been about, what, 15 minutes? Um, so I'm here to talk to you about something that I'm actually really, really passionate about, and it's about social media. And I'm gonna talk to you about it with regard to branding yourself, because let's be honest, nobody in here is a brand. We're not Motives, we're not TLS, we're not Market America, we're not Shop.com. You are who you are, right? And you are good at what you are, um, or what you do. And so what you wanna focus on so that you can retail more product is just being who you are in a few couple of action steps that I'd like to take you through today, if that's okay with you. So you gotta have fun with this. Um, social media is social, so if you're not socializing on media, then you're, uh, social media, then you're doing it wrong. So what I wanna do is take you through a couple of action steps that you can do to brand yourself. The first step that you have to take if you wanna sell more product is to have an active profile. If you're not actively posting on your own profile, then when your people go to your page, they think that you're not um, going to respond to them, right? If you're only making a post every once in a while, why would they choose to communicate with you there? Why would they even bother to respond? The other thing, and I think this is critical, as unfranchised owners, we need to be following the 80-20 rule. It's just a fact of life. 80% of what you post needs to be about who you are. When you go to my Facebook, you're gonna see pictures of me upside down doing yoga. You're gonna see pictures of me at my kids' sporting events. Um, you know, Jordan's at football now, so I'm there every day. You're gonna see things of me cooking and entertaining. You're gonna see business. You're gonna see music. You're gonna see dance. These are all things that make me who I am, and that's why I brand myself that way. 20% of what you see on my profile is gonna be business related. And I do that very on purpose because how many times um, do people get really, really excited about starting their business and then they go to their page and all they do is post, 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 sell, 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 product, 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 this, that, and the other thing. You know what you're doing? You're freaking your people out. Like flat out, you're, you're messing with people because they go to your page and then when you send them a private message, they go, uh-oh, so-and-so's messaging me. I've seen that person's profile. They're trying to get me into something, right? So 80-20, be you, be yourself. That's the only thing that any of us can be and just be okay with that. Be comfortable in your own skin and brand it. Um, by the way, when you do that, when you do start to post things about product, that's why I get people to engage with me. That's a picture of my makeup from the last event. And I go to a church, and one of my church goers, Shaniqua, was like, oh my God, I love that makeup. I remember you got me onto some of that a little while ago. I haven't found anything like it. So I respond and I say, oh my God, wait till you see the new uh, colors that Lala just launched. I'll talk to you when I get back. So she responds to that because I'm not shoving product down her throat. Then right below that, you see a private message from another person from church, because we get really dressed up when we go to church. And um, she goes, hey, <laughs> she goes, love your makeup, what should I get? I remember you got me on the nail polish. And I said, look, I'm in Miami right now, but check out my website. And when I get back, um, you know, I'll have some recommendations for you as well. That's how you set an active post. So you want to have fun with this, right? Socialize. You got to think product placement. Anybody see American Idol? Anybody? You notice how there's like Coca-Cola in front of all of the judges, like J-Lo sitting there drinking Coca-Cola? Do you know why they did that? They did that because subliminally it gets the audience thinking about the product that they saw. You need to do the same thing. Just have fun. You don't need to post links to sell products. Just have a good time, you know? It's a shopping annuity, y'all. Getting my Lumiated Vion down in the TLS shake and banging out some emails. Hashtag hot. Um, okay, maybe that's not so hot. My poor husband. Um, anyway, but the fact is, is that you gotta have fun. You gotta just be who you are and don't be afraid of that. Notice how I didn't say, uh, post a picture of Lumiere de V in a, uh, you know, in a bottle and just say, you should buy this, it's awesome. Just put it on your face and take a picture, right? Red lips kind of day. I was feeling drab that day. I was literally wearing sweatpants. And if you're ever having a bad day, I wrote a blog about it. Throw on some red lipstick, it completely changes your day. I swear. It totally does. So anyway, you see a bunch of comments and literally a couple of days later on my wall, someone said, oh, by the way, um, totally followed your advice and threw on some red lipstick and it totally turned my day around. And it's so funny because you can't have a bad day in red lips. You just can't. 
So, um, <laughs> by the way, when you look at all of this, you see some comments are from fellow unfranchised owners, and they're doing it right. They're just showing support, and we need to do that for each other. Just like each other's posts. Make a, a, a quick, simple uh, comment. This is a video of my son, Ethan. He is a weird health nut. He cries at when kids have chicken nuggets from McDonald's, literally. Anyway. He made a video about how much he loves aloe, and I had to put a disclaimer in there because he likened the healing powers to healing powers of Wolverine from X-Men. So, yeah, and then he also, his fifth thing that he loves about aloe is he's allowed to drink it in the living room because it doesn't stain the carpet. Um, and anyway, because he's not allowed to drink stuff in our living room. So in any case, here's the point. It's a fun little thing. I'm not, I, I didn't include a link to go buy the aloe right away, but you want to know what this led to? A conversation with our neighbor who has a son that's completely suffering from psoriasis and said, do you think that could help my son as well? Have fun. Just think product placement, right? There's my nails. Nails did, wearing first dance and cheetah print. And by the way, you see one of the comments here. I just got my nails done at the salon yesterday and I thought of you in BYOP because I wrote a blog, BYOP, when you go to the salon, bring your own nail polish, you know, like BYOB, mm, just talking about nails. So anyway, um, it's a great thing to do, and Laura Lair actually taught me this. I love gel manicures because I'm reckless and I'm very active, so I do gel bottom, motives in the middle, and I do gel on the top, so I let people know about it, and other people will follow you. Pretty soon, people will start doing product placement for you. These aren't even business partners, but they see how I do it, and they're selling product for me. That's my little niece where, uh, with her DNA shampoo. She loves it. And on the right there is someone I got, um, you know, I sold some lipsticks. I don't even major in motives. I, saw, I sell her lipsticks, and she, she sees how I post pictures, and she does the same thing. So she's now selling product for me. And by the way, when I want to prospect her, I can have a conversation and say, you're already doing it, right? Product placement, have fun. Follow up is gonna happen offline and online, but you have to follow up. We don't wanna just have like conversations and create excitement and be popular online. What we wanna do is make sales, right? Anybody in the room wanna convert sales because of social media? Exactly. So be aware that follow-up is going to happen, and it's going to happen predominantly offline and online. So this is a picture of E again. He loves his DNA vitamins, um, and he had just seen a commercial about these gummy heart-shaped things, and he goes, Mommy, it's just not right. They shouldn't be putting these up on the TV, confusing children about bad things that they should be taking when it's not true. So I said, he goes, can you take, and he, lo I swear, he goes, can you take my picture? And I take his picture, I put it up there, not even an hour later, my 28-year-old sister calls me up and she's like, by the way, she has no children. She goes, hey, are those DNA gummies any good? And I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh, well, you know, are Flintstones any good? I'm like, no, they're horrible. She goes, so should I switch from Flintstones to DNA gummies? And I'm like, well, listen, I mean, everything about this conversation is completely wrong, but yeah, you should definitely switch to DNA gummies. <laughs> You're gonna start to brand yourself. This is a picture of some clothes that I bought on my website. And I hashtag paid passion for fashion. Just having fun, right? Anyway, I do that a lot when I get things from, um, or from buying from my website. And I have a student who needed to get a new leotard and a new outfit. She was auditioning uh, to go to college and she only had 100 bucks. And she calls me up and she goes, Sarah, I only got $100. I need a new leotard. Those run about 75 bucks. And I need an outfit that I can go in an interview with. I don't have more than 100 bucks. You're so good at shopping. Can you help me? Follow-up happens offline too, guys. Don't worry if it's not just in your comment feed. Follow-up happens online. There's a picture I posted of my hair. Some lady writes, pretty, can you follow back? So I do. I notice that she does nails very well. She's very good in the beauty industry, so I respond to her, I love your work, have you heard of motives? And it goes on from there. There's a picture of me doing PowerPoints, and you see the strategically placed entire case of grape awake energy. I put that there on purpose, and I did drink the entire case in like a couple of days. I was insane. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I put it there on purpose and I hashtag Team Purple. So the comments go, <laughs> I have to just read this to you. What up with Team Purple? And I'm like, Team Purple is my favorite flavor of awake. You should try it since you're in infant land and no sleep land. So then the response is, tell me more about tea, the purple stuff. Where do I get the purple stuff? I need to get me some of the purple stuff. And I'm like, obviously you don't need the purple stuff, but yeah, I'll get you some. <laughs> So anyway, I want you to understand this. It comes down to fishing, 
um, for prospects. It comes down to um, finding people that need you. And just look, guys, when you're getting started and you're trying to sell your first couple of products, get your names list out and use social media to start selling product. Because you know what? Here's what it comes down to. You want to know why people only give you a names list of like 10 people instead of the 300 they know? Do you want to know why? Because they're afraid you're going to contact them because they haven't talked to those people in years. And it's socially ridiculous for them to pick up the phone and start selling them product. Facebook completely uh, eliminates that problem because now you have a soft way to get back in touch with your people. So guys, here's what I want to say because I'm out of time. At the Internet Marketing Breakout, I'm going to talk more about exactly how I do this. We're going to go through a names list and how you should, what your goal should be for talking to people on there. How do you respond to conversations and how do you hashtag search so you can create even more sales. But guys, take one thing away from this, this thing. Be yourself. Right? Don't oversell. Don't post a ton of products um, on your page all the time, and it will happen organically, and I promise you that's more fun. Thank you, guys. Uh, by the way, if you want to get that uh, presentation in its complete entirety, uh, go to unfranchised.meeton.com. Go to Unfranchise TV category, and you can get the entire one-and-a-half-hour coring that Sarah Rose did uh, about three weeks ago. Highly recommend it. I was there. I understood it. It was great. Um, I'm, it's, it's, if you really want to use social media to incre you know, increase your retailing, your customer base, your customer share, uh, let me tell you what, highly recommend viewing that video. It's a must for everybody. Um, the next person I'd like to introduce, um, she's going to show you the importance, uh, talk about the importance of auto ship. You know, you can use auto ship, folks, to increase the share of product you, one of your customers is buying or more of your customers. Very simply by taking and analyzing how many products they're buying each and every month. And if they're one or two products away from getting to that threshold where they can get, get uh, free shipping, it's a way to help them get buy, start buying one or two additional products so they immediately get a 7.5% what? discount on pot because it's free shipping. Is everybody with me? By simply buying one or two more products, okay? Now, the next individual I'd like to bring up is Karen Marino. She's a National Supervising Coordinator. And in 2007, I believe she was the very first Customer Manager of the Year. Please welcome Karen Marino. It's, a, it's, it's an honor to be here today. I'm so happy to be here. Um, retailing is one of the things that I've always been passionate about, but I'm passionate about my customers also. And I want my customers to be happy, I want my customers to feel good, and it's very important for them to stay on their product. And that is the beauty of auto ship, because my customers are very, very important to me, and I care about them. So what they will be getting every month is a gift. Who doesn't love to get a gift in the, um, who doesn't love to get a package? We all love packages to come to our house, but this package is a package of health. So, my goals as a nutritionist is I want to help to sustain the good health of my customers. Now, one of the big problems is if your customers come in and you sell them a product, sometimes the first a month that they're on these products, they will not get the results that they really should be getting. So what, we, what I do is I encourage people to get on auto ship so that they can continue on the product, whatever it may be, OPC, OPC Beauty Blend, um, Acai, just so that they keep getting reorders. And with each reorder, they will see. You know, the first month I didn't really see that much. But then, after I was on the product for two months, it was an amazing difference. And that's why we have auto ship. Okay. So I want to tell you how I would approach some of my clients. I have, I have one of my clients, her name is Patty. Patty works out at a gym. And she came up to me and she said, you know, Karen, what can I do? I work out, I'm not losing weight, I, it just seems like I can't, I just can't build that muscle that I want to build. So what I sat down with her and I said, you know what, Patty, what we could do is we can get you on one of our great packages that we have. 
We have amazing packages in this, com in this company right now. We have what we call an anti-aging kit. And that anti-aging kit, what it could do for you is it has prime secretagog. Prime secretagog is a natural way to help your body to produce HGH, which will help you with muscle building. You know what else is in that package? A product called Longevity. Longevity has branched-chain amino acids, and those branched-chain amino acids, what they will do is they can help you to build muscle by giving your body the amino acids that is necessary for muscle building. Then, you know what else happens sometimes, Patty? All those aches and pains that you get after a workout, well, that package comes with a joint formula. So we have a package available to you called the Anti-Aging Kit. And this Anti-Aging Kit, it would, it would have cost you individually to almost $200. But we have a great sale, and that is for our customers. That package is $139.95. But I'm going to offer you something special today because I want you to keep going to the gym I want you to feel good, and I want you to continue seeing the results. So what I am going to do is I am going to put you on auto ship. So every month, you will be getting that anti-aging package, and you'll feel good, and you will start getting the results that you want to get. So then I have another day comes by, and I have another client, Gina. Gina is extremely tired. She has diabetes in her family and she just does not seem to be accountable. Her, um, her habits are really poor. She doesn't eat as well as she should. And she can get a little lazy at times, okay? Which means that she doesn't eat properly as well as she's not going to be good at ordering her vitamins. So I told her, I have something great for you. It's called a, it's called a custom cocktail. And what I am going to do in your custom cocktail is I am going to put in some OPC. The OPC is going to help you with your immune system. I'm going to also add a wonderful product called isochrome. Isochrome has chromium picolinate and chromium arginate, two forms of chromium that can help your body with leveling out your blood sugars. And then I'm going to add some B vitamins and a multivitamin. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to have a brand new custom cocktail for you. It'll come in a canister, and all you have to do is take a little scoop and put the water in a glass and drink it every day. And you, I never want you to run out of your custom cocktail. So I'm going to put you on auto ship, and you will get a 10% discount which is awesome because we all love to get discounts. So the auto ship is going to give you the discount that you need. So now we have Tom, and Tom is stressed, and he's ne he, he wants to feel better, okay? And he knows that if he had to place an order every week, that he would never do it. So he's very stressed also. So we have an amazing, amazing product for him. We have what we call an anti-stress kit. This anti-stress kit comes with OPC. The OPC, what it's going to do for you, it's going to help you to kill off your free radicals. It's going to help to relax the body. And then we have another product called B vitamins. Everybody knows how important B vitamins are and how B vitamins can actually help your nervous system, help with depression, and help you feel better. And Guess what, Tom? I, you told me before you were very stressed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recommend this anti-stress kit that also comes with a product called Bliss. And Bliss can help to relax you. Now, I don't want you to run out of this product because these products are very important to keep you well. So what I'm going to do is I'm offering you today a 10% discount on that anti-stress kit, which is also already an amazing value 
before the 10% discount of $79.95. So now, what do I have here? We talked about my four happy customers, okay? And what I am really trying to do for them is, I'm trying to keep them on their products. I want them to be continuing to order their products so that they continue to feel well. I also want them to stay on their product because how many times do we find that we get a person that buys product once and that they never come back and buy again? But if we have individuals on auto ship and they're getting, their, they're getting either their custom cocktail or their kits every month or every 45 days, they're going to be happy customers. And they also feel good about themselves because happiness is, we, we become happy when we have a discount. We are happier when we have products that help us to feel better. Health is wealth and they'll never stay, they will never run out of product. Um, my conclusion of the auto ship is this. I, I have, I have about 38 people on auto ship right now. I have a whole bunch of happy customers. I'm, I'm pretty busy in my business, so I don't, ha I don't wanna have to be calling everybody and saying, it's time, to, um, it's time to reorder your vitamins. They will never run out of their vitamins, so we are assured that they are going to stay well and they are going to stay happy. Now, how does this help me? Happy me, constant BV. And hopefully in time, these individuals will want to become my distributors after being on the products for a long while. So we have AutoShip to help individuals to be happy. We have AutoShip to keep our customers healthy. And we have AutoShip to make our lives easier. Thank you so much, and have a great weekend. All right, Less, next person I'd like to introduce uh, is gonna use Motives as a backdrop, but it's, you know, Motives is really, when it comes to retailing and building a repeat retail customer base, Motives is probably the best product we have in our entire mall without walls. And the reason being is, what? Greater than 50% of all human beings on the face of this earth, at least from age 12 on, have what? Either used makeup or experimented with makeup. And Tony, we don't have to educate them on how to use it. They already know how to use it, right? They know where the lipstick goes, they know where the eyebrow pencil goes, and all the rest of that. And the thing is, is it's real easy to get an initial sale, which then starts the what? Increasing the share of product that that customer buys from us. Once the initial sale is hit, we have a reason to follow up and begin the process. Now, this next individual uh, sells an unbelievable, amount of, an unbelievable amount of makeup, but at the same time, she has a strategy in which she basically goes from makeup to skin care and personal care to health and nutrition. In other words, not only the paint, but she also works on the canvas. Please help me welcome Laura Lair. Listen, I wanna connect with every single one of you, all 20,000 of you. The best way for us to do that is social media. Did you learn anything about that already today? I'm on Twitter, uh, Laura Lair, you can follow me. Instagram, Laura Lair, Facebook, uh, Laura uh, Lair as well. I also have a blog that I use to help promote my business as well. It's lauralair.com. Just in case you were wondering, I'm gonna keep it real simple for you today. <laughs> I don't have a lot of slides for you. I really want to talk to you and really get you wanting to retail because some people say that it's difficult. I hear a lot, I need to retail more. You can't not retail. That's how you're gonna reach the Million Dollar Club is by retailing. It's one of the fastest ways to build a team. Why should you retail? Well, it gives you cash flow. Does anybody like having any cash in their pocket? For a new distributor, cash flow is critical to belief because it keeps you going until the real money comes. Retailing is exciting because when you have customers who have great results, you have testimonials that lead to other customers, but it also gives you control. Now, and what I mean by that, if you're flushing through the pay cycle this week and you have 5,000 on one side, you need two or 300 on the other to earn a $600 check, you can place that volume not only to help yourself, because you have customers who already need it anyway, 
but also to pay your people. And that's the most important thing about retailing, is not only am I controlling my own volume, but I'm ensuring the destinies of those I bring into this business by helping them get paid too. I will tell you, a majority of my team has come from retailing in some fashion. How many of you came from the products? You used a product and you said, wow, there's a great business behind this. I'll take a look, right? Most of you are using products. I'm full of BV right now. I use every single thing that we have, whether it be skincare, home care, nutrition. It is important for you to lead so that others will follow. This is where your new partners will come from. You have a customer who loves the products, who then tells a friend who says, I, I have a friend who wants the products. I'm like, well, who's gonna sell them to them? You or me. Then they can make money and become a distributor. So your team will get built very quickly. Uh, for me, I think it's really about duplication. You have to lead where you want other people to go. Hey, I think you should do this. I'm not doing it, but you should do it. <laughs> that doesn't work very well, does it? You, you retail and then people will follow you. Now, where are we gonna be doing this at? You know why you need to do this. It's called a paycheck. Now, where is this gonna be done? Wherever people are, wherever you go. Anyone you do business with, if you exchange money, I give them my money, they need to buy products from me, or at least look. If they won't look, I'll do business somewhere else. It's called B2B, business to business. I've been to a couple nail salons, or 40. If I don't get a customer, I move along. If I don't get a distributor, I move along. If I'm not able to connect with the people in the, in the nail salon, I move along. The nail salon that I go to now, I was getting a, a pedicure, and you know, I had some makeup on. She said, oh, I love your eyeliner. <laughs> your eyeliner is so pretty, go that plum. <laughs> I said, thank you, it's called Motives, you wanna try it? So I, I called Todd, I'm like, get over here with my kit. It's right around the corner. So he brings my kit over, I leave with $200 and two new customers. I get paid to get my toes done. <laughs> so I'll keep going there for a while. So every time I walk in, they're very supportive of me there. I give them money, they give me money, we have a great working relationship. Ah, oh, supermodel here! <laughs> And every time I come in, they, they always say, where you go? You know, they're always talking to me and I'm like, I, you know, I, well, I, I do makeup because the people around me are like, well, who is she? Because we have a great working relationship. So if it's not working out, when you're, wherever you get your hair done, my, my hairstylist, I have somebody who colors my hair and somebody who cuts it. I just went in there the last time last month with a cute motives bag, tissue paper, and the motives makeup remover cloth. It cost me $4 to create a new customer. That's your tip. You have a personal trainer. I give them a bottle of B-Complex. Here's your tip. This is for energy. Of course they're gonna ask me what it is. Do you think I sponsored that personal trainer? Yeah, and that led to an organization producing 5,000 a week. But it started with the B. So everywhere I go, I, I have gone to boutiques to do an open house. I'll do a wine and wellness. That always gets people there. Wine. <laughs> Anything that I can do where there are people get the girlfriends over one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and I also use a lot of social media. I, I have really generated a majority of my new distributors from social media here recently, especially Instagram um, and Facebook. And, and I mean to the tune of, hey, can I join your team? And they're six states away from me. Hey, can you tell me about more about motives? I would like to become a part of this with you. And that was in Florida. Meanwhile, I live in North Carolina. I'm not in those states. Both of those people are distributors, right? Through social media, I sponsored eight people uh, just between January and April because I'm posting regularly. And I'm not just posting, don't spam people with your business. I'm posting things that are going on in my daily life, my children, food, whatever's important to you, maybe what I'm wearing, but there's, there's hints of the makeup, of the nutrition, of well-being and wellness in there to create curiosity. So anywhere, you know, if I go somewhere, I'm going to talk to people. It all starts with, hi, what's your name? 
If I'm at the, at the Y taking a class, I go take the classes because you meet a lot of people in those classes. I don't take just one person. I'm not just a yoga girl, right? I take yoga. I make a fool of myself in Zumba. Whatever I can do because I'm meeting new friends. And what do people ask you? What do you do? And if I know the person I'm standing with is a stay-at-home mom who has two children, I'm like, I teach stay-at-home moms how to make a six-figure income from home without giving up their time with their kids. They're like, what? <laughs> what was your name again? Do you have a card? <laughs> you know, so it's everywhere I go. You have to have your mouth open or your business isn't open. Again, it's creating curiosity, not satisfying it. Now, how are you going to do this? Well, you have to use all of the products. Um, I, I really could probably say that I spend maybe even 500, I don't, it could even approach $1,000 a month, I'm not sure, because we use absolutely everything. You know, 20 uh, isotonics in the morning, I might take five more in the afternoon. I have all kinds of pills like the Omega Oils, Coenzyme Q10, Astaxanthin, and you know what? I'm six months away from 40 and I don't feel it. <laughs> Our products, people keep saying to me, they're like, you're getting younger and younger. I'm like, I know, it's these crazy products I'm taking. I give them enough information to go, what products? Just enough information. Um, have you noticed the more you've been taking, the longer you've been taking OPC, the younger your skin gets? Some great stuff. Uh, when, when, so what we're gonna do, your homework, is to not only make your own names list, and for every new distributor who says, I don't know anybody. I'm like, give me your freaking phone. <laughs> yes, you do. I'm going to get a hold of their friends' friends. I'll go on their Facebook page and see all of their friends. You have people, right? So we're going to go dig into their social ner networks. Who is this? Who is this? What do they do? Uh, we're going to work other people's people. You don't need to know anybody. You know everybody you need to know right now. You don't need to work with anybody you know right now. I have no friends or family that are distributors with me. Everybody I work with, I found along the way through somebody else, other people's people. Um, I do believe that if you keep it very simple, it's going to be easier. So, so if you listen and you're really nosy everywhere you go and you have your little antennas on and you're listening to people, you will hear people say, I'm tired, right? I'm tired. Oh, I got to go to work this weekend. Those are cues for you to be able to say, really, what do you do? I, I, wanna, I don't need to say, oh, you're tired. You need this. Right? I, I want to ask enough questions, ask three or four questions to get a conversation started with them. It will be very easy if you sell for the relationship. Now, your homework is going to be to contact your team. Anybody want to hit the Million Dollar Club with my husband and I? So here's, here's your goal. For the next 90 days, when you get home, contact everybody on your team, phone, email, however you need to contact them. Schedule one product-related event per week and watch the magic happen. Thank you. We are in the business of selling product, okay? We sell product. We sell product at suggested retail. We get a retail profit and we make money. We're in business, okay? It's not a club, it's not a deal, not a program, not a game, not a scheme, not a hobby, and it's not a cult, okay? It's a business, all right? Now, the point is this. In sales, in, any, in the sales industry, in the sales business, when you get hired in sales, you are given a quota. There's, you know, quota. You know, when Marty used to hire carpet sales, and you had a quota. You move this amount of carpet, or you're done. You hit the road, okay? Now, in this business, in this business, you own your own business. You work for yourself, but your business is sales. And what you need to do with not only yourself, but your, your business partners is you need to set quotas for them. They have to have something. A quota is a target. It's something to shoot for. It's something to aspire to and obtain, okay? Because if you don't set those goals, you don't set the objectives, you don't set the quota, they're going to shoot for nothing. What you're going to get in the very beginning and along the way is the sales that you get towards building that customer base of 10 to 15. You know, they're going to get their mom, you know, what I call pity, pity, pity purchases. You know, hey, mom, will you buy this? Hey, grandma, will you get this? Hey, the guy across, you know, well, you, you know, and they, it, there's no sense of purpose. There's no definitive strategy. So what I would leave you is this. When you first bring a business partner into the business, you can start, by the way, with yourself, 
okay? You need to set a goal of selling 100 BV of new business every month for the first 12 months in the business. Set a goal or you know, a quota for selling 100 BV of new business every month for the first 12 months, for 12 straight months. And I'll show you the numbers. I know after 22 years in the business, 22 years in the business, the initial first time sale, out of every initial first time sale, 50% of those sales will be repeat sales. They will be repeat sales, conservatively. So what that means is, for every 100 BV of new business, you're going to get what? You're going to get 50 BV of repeat business. So if you sell 100 BV of new business every month, that means I sell Tom a bottle of OPC3 in January, okay? And then I sell Keith a bottle of OPC3, basically it's 43.5, 43.5. Now when Tom comes back in February and buys the OPC3, it doesn't count towards my 100 BV in February. It has to be new business, new BV. And the key is this, if we sell 100 BV worth of new business every month for 12 months, we've basically gotten 1,200 BV initial of initial sales, right? If 50% repeat buy, that's 600 BV every single month. Has everybody got that? 600 BV. That equates to about 360, at suggested retail, that's about $360 of net retail profit every month. You've got 600 BV coming in. You're using 100 to 150 BV. That means every business partner represents 750 BV a month. Let's say if I'm only 50% right, you're moving what? 300 BV every month plus your 100, 400 BV, and we're back to base 10, seven strong. Has everybody got that? That's where the numbers come. God bless you. God bless Mark and America. Have a great weekend.